Greetings, people of the internet. I am Luchaman, and welcome to Luchaman Reviews. Now, since I've been uh, a little preoccupied and behind in some of my work lately, I've decided to bring you not one, but two, count them, two reviews of two shows. The first review is of a show that's now entering its third season. Uh, it is on Comedy Central. It is the third season of Brickleberry. Now, uh, how does one describe this show? Uh, Alright, so you know the Yogi Bears show where Jellowstone National Park and you had Ranger Smith and Boo Boo? Well, imagine that only of taken over by South Park. Yeah. Alright, animation wise, it's a normally animated show. It's not South Park style. It, 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 looks, it's, it looks like normal animation. But uh, unfortunately, the show, it's, uh, it's. How do I describe it? Oh, yeah. Crude, rude, lewd, and occasionally nude. Uh, this show is is created by the same people that gave us the Tosh Pono series, and it's on Comedy Central, and it's on at a very, very, very late hour of the night to guarantee that uh, children do not see this because there's no way you should let your kids watch the show Brickleberry. Most of the dialogue is swearing, insults, um, stuff so bad that they have to bleep it out, or otherwise the FCC will get on their case about it. And, uh, yeah, the show in general is just... Basically, the show's main objective is to insult everyone and everything somehow simultaneously. And it successfully pulls that off. So, if uh, you are overly sensitive, or if you have children, seriously, do not watch this show. Now, I've seen it, and I'm amazed at... I am legitimately amazed that this show has actually even gotten a third season, after the first two. Oi! But, uh, but despite all of the uh, negative stuff... There's at least one or two times in each episode where they actually have a, a, a good joke that's not offensive or has to be bleeped out, or they have a good visual gag which is not offensive or has to or will uh, insult anyone and everything within a million mile radius. Yeah, so I believe I uh, when I just when I uh, reviewed the show in the past, I said apparently uh, rude is the new form of funny. So yeah. I've actually reviewed the second season of this when I did a mass uh, show review, so go figure there. Yeah, so, I, like I said, I'm surprised this got a third season, and if you want to watch it, well, watch at your own, watch with discretion. Be very careful. I, like I said, this show, it is insulting to everything. There's, a, like, one or two few clean things, but overall, it's just, it's just rude. <laughs> so, for this show, I give it a solid 5 out of 10. Okay, so we go from a show that had uh, that had swearing, violence, blood, and offensive visuals to an anime from uh, the 1990s that had violence and blood, occasional swearing, and... Okay, so, <laughs> not that far stretch, but uh, I'm talking about the new, uh, the new Adult Swim lineup, of course, has Toonami on Saturday nights, which was a great surprise and welcome back for everyone. So now for the next, so starting last week, I wasn't able to cover it, but thanks to, but thanks to uh, cable service specials, specialties like On Demand, I was able to see the first episode of the Helsing original video animation. Um, this is a 10 part OVA, and it, now if one of my sources told me that it follows the manga a little more closely than the animated series that it did. And uh, yeah, because I remember I saw the first episode, and then when I was watching the OVA, I was like, this looks familiar, but it looks like they cut some stuff out. Um, for those of you who aren't in the know, Helsing, um, this was the vampire series before, before Twilight decided to come in and ruin it for everyone and everything. <laughs> yeah, so the main protagonist, or antagonist, the main agonist, I guess, would be, uh, Alucard. Um, so the story is how the Helsing organization... They fight for queen and country of Britannia. Uh, they are, I believe it's described by the head of Helsing, they are the monsters who fight the worst monsters. So basically this is like a... So think Helsing sort of like along the lines of Hellboy. Yeah, it's an interesting uh, correlation and comparison. But yeah, so the show... Um, it is now entering... It is now just aired its uh, second of the ten-part series, so... Feel free to catch up and then set your DVRs to make sure you pick up the other eight. 
it's an interesting story. Um, visually, there's a lot of blood involved and violence. So, and like I said, this is on late night, so your kids won't see it. But it, so watch with discretion and make sure you don't show it to your kids because some of the stuff can get pretty scary. Uh, I, I gotta admit, it's a pretty good series. I mean, after all, I did see Blue Exorcist, and I have seen Soul Eater. So, yeah, it's interesting to see see the anime and manga series uh, having come up with all these mythical characters and ideas for, uh, like, uh, vampires and all that, all that stuff. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, so uh, for the Hellsing OVA, I give it... Let's see. Well, I give it a solid 8 out of 10. When I, when I was first watching it, I thought it was like cut and paste together from uh, previous episodes. And it's like, what's going on here? But like uh, my contact told me, it follows the, the the manga more closely. Now I haven't read the manga, so I figure I'll just watch this. Let's watch the show, and that'll get me caught up. So yeah, if you like stuff like uh, the Blue Exorcist, um, Attack on Titan, that's, yeah, it's it's like it, it's like that, and maybe with a little bit of a uh, Black Lagoon thrown in for good measure. So, yeah, give it a shot. Okay, so those are the shows I got. Both of them, both these shows are kind of mature, have mature subject matter in each of them, and are on at incredibly late hours. One's an anime, one, one's uh, American made. Uh, one's, and and uh, both are disturbing in their, very own, in their own categories, depending on how you view them, but uh, yeah, that's uh, the new TV schedule we got. Basically, this will have to tie us over until we get uh, a whole bunch of new stuff, but hey. Uh, but hey, we're about to start the fall TV lineup, so this is going to be great. We're going to get uh, new shows. We're going to get see, we're gonna get a return of seasons, like seasons two or three of new stuff. So yeah, the fall lineup is kicking off, so I'm going to be busy the next couple of uh, weeks. So bear with me, and sorry for the wait for this video. Thank you for watching, and until next time, this has been Luchaman for Luchaman Reviews. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.